Are you having trouble finding the perfect song for your videos? Like you want the background sound, but all the good songs you find are always too short and it's annoying to try and find five, six or seven and match them in style and everything just so it works for your video. I also had the same issue and the trick I'm going to show you today saved me a ton of time. So let's jump into Premiere. So now that we are in Premiere, this is actually my previous video. If you haven't seen it, a pop-up will, will come up right now. And this is the timeline uh, I had for my previous video. What I wanted to do is to have background music playing from here until the end. But the song I found was way too short. So you can see when I add it here, I can add it, I don't know, two three and something times until the end and it's going to be a bit annoying to have it on loop so what i'm going to do is right click on the song and select sorry i need to first i need to put it here right click on the song and edit clip in adobe audition so now that we have adobe audition open what we need to do is click here on multi-track select ok and then drag your song over here you want to click here on on the remix enable remix you gotta wait a little bit un until adobe audition analyzes your song and we need so from one and a half i mean one and a half minutes until 10 minutes we need roughly nine and a half minutes song so what i'm going to do is just come over here and just type nine nine minutes and 30 seconds click enter and bam we are, we have nine minutes and a half remixed song you can actually see where it made the cuts you can see those jiggly lines over here and here and here and what i like to do is just come over here and check if the, check if the transitions sound natural usually with all those copyright free uh, music um, that has no lyrics and so on. Adobe Audition does a really good job, but just make sure to check them because sometimes it does have some issues. And if it has some issues and you don't like uh, the transitions and the places where the transitions are made, you can just play around here a little bit uh, with the time because it makes a completely new remix. You can actually see that the remix is nine minutes and 36 seconds, although I have nine minutes and 30 seconds plus minus five seconds. So let's say if I want a remix of that, I will just make it at seven seconds. And now we have something completely different, but I will hit control Z and go back to the previous one. So what I'm going to do is select the song, go here, export and export to Adobe Premiere Pro. Here we have some options. I use the default ones. Just select like export. And it will directly import the song on a new audio layer. You can delete the previous one. And just if you need to reposition the song for you. Um, and if you need, just reposition the song where you want it to be. In my case, it's it's a bit a little bit longer than I wanted. I can always go back into Adobe Auditions and remix it, but I don't see such an issue here because I'm going to play around with the volume here and there. So I'm just going to gradually increase the volume and ease into the song. This one starts a little bit slow at the beginning, so it's not a big issue. So yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for today's video. If you found this tip, tip helpful, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. As well, let me know down in the comments if, if you know other 
small tricks and tips like this one that definitely speed up the workflow when editing videos. Thanks for watching and see you on my other videos, guys. Bye.